All right, second bike packing trip ever underway. It's gonna be a lot farther than my last one, my first one. So it's gonna be about 125 miles with about 9,000 feet of elevation over two days. So uh, just got started and you can see the road back there. And now the road kind of ends and you get on this, well, it's a gravel road, but uh, already huffing and puffing, so should be quite a bit harder than my last one, but um, weather's good, I'm excited, let's get going. So about mile five and a half. First part of this has been kind of slow going for me. Had to make some adjustments to the bike. Some uphill sections. Not in very good shape for cycling. So, the trails, the road is pretty nice. Lots of cows. off Old Moody Road. I'm joining up with 15 Mile Road. I think I'm taking this first left though, so probably won't be on this for very long, but it's nice being on the pavement again for a short period of time. It's nice being on the gravel trails too though, so... I think one of the main reasons I do stuff like this is so I can eat Snickers bars all day without feeling guilty. More cows. Mile 17 and a half. Just worked on coming up this big hill. It probably doesn't look very big, but coming from way down there in that valley and perfect views of Mount Hood. And then this is continuing up the trail. Awesome weather today. Really good weather, so, oh, I've got a long ways to go still. Goal is to get to about mile 60, mile 70, um, and there's some BLM land where I'm hoping to throw up my bivy, so. Coming up on an abandoned building. It's always fun to check out abandoned buildings. Look at the lizard. All right, well, that was fun. Let's keep going. Working hard to get up this hill. You can probably see I'm pretty sweaty. Let's see. Oh yeah. It's not even that warm out. Just working hard. This hill's been going on for a while. Slow and steady, but still sweaty. So I'm not really moving as fast as I want to be, but terrain kind of dictates that and my fitness level for this uh, so 
we're doing fine, but I always wish I was faster. So anyway, it looks like over there is kind of the top of this hill. It's really gradual, but it's just long. So uh, just gonna keep grinding away at it. Used filming as an excuse to take a break. So I should probably get back to it. So remember when I was talking about that hill and I thought I saw the end of it? Oh, I was wrong. So that went on for like another mile. But check it out. Summit Ridge. A disappointing 2,817 feet. But done with the hill so hopefully it's all downhill afterwards from here at least for today and tomorrow we have a lot more to go up but good views of Mount Hood and you can also see Jefferson out there so I'm only at about mile 26 which means I still have a lot of ground to cover so I'm hoping these next miles go faster because I was averaging like four or five miles an hour up this hill, so I have some ground to catch up, so let's get back to it. Check that out. Got some disemboweled animal. Boah! It's pretty disgusting. I'm surprised nothing's eaten that yet. Okay, well, let's keep going. Alright, mile 44 about, and I just got out of Dufer, and didn't really see much to eat there. There was a couple spots, but I decided not to stop. There was like one bar looking place, but, so, I'm going to eat something right now. Um, yeah, been going along this stretch of road here, so I'm thinking I probably have about 20... 25 more miles today that I want to cover so oof. it sounds like a lot when I say that but if it's easy riding that shouldn't be a problem not a lot of hills but we'll see but right now I just need to fuel up because I'm hungry so More hills, hills, more animal remains. Let's take a closer look. This hill's whooping me. We're like around mile 50, 51. Great views of Mount Hood. You can see all the trees are starting to change color. It's pretty. Getting kind of low on water, but I think I have a couple water sources ahead of me. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to 75 miles and do the BLM camping. There's some other spots that are closer to 60 or so so I'm gonna make that assessment when I get to the first campsite so we'll see just made it to White River wildlife area this is one area where I could camp tonight <clears throat> and I think there's also some water out here so at a minimum I'm gonna fill up it's like it's only like four Lots of bugs going in my eye. So, uh, coming through this park, man, there was pretty, pretty rough terrain, actually. I was surprised. And, uh, there's a creek right to the side of me. I think there's going to be better filling spots. So, um, I also think I'm going to keep going and see if I can make it to 75. Mile 75, there's some camping over there. And, um, 
I think it'll just be a little bit better for tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and make that happen, which means I should probably stop talking. But just wanted to show you guys some of the trail here. I should have showed you the uh, gnarly section, but uh, I was too busy focusing on not falling and dying and getting hurt out here. So after I pumped my water and started riding out of here, I realized it's getting dark kind of fast and um, the terrain isn't super easy. So after reevaluating, I think it's going to be better if I camp somewhere here tonight. I passed several great camp spots, but don't really want to go back so hoping I see something ahead of me it's really pretty out here I don't know how well you guys can see that there's a nice waterfall down there lots of trees that are changing colors I've seen a couple hunters out here but it's not very not very busy so I'm gonna keep going down this road and hope that I find a campsite well didn't really find a campsite, so I've continued on. I think I took a wrong turn, so I'm on the highway instead of some back road, but it's okay. You can see that the sun's kind of starting to set. home for the night which is not really a campsite it's kind of just this uh, grassy flat-ish spot right off the Deschutes so this will do and so I've gone about 77 miles into my sleeping bag and pass out. So whew, that was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Brought the bivy today, not the tent. Should be good enough. So it's about 6.30 and um, I'm making some coffee. Slept pretty well last night. So I have about 50 miles to ride today with less elevation than yesterday. So yesterday was about 77 miles with 6,500 feet of gain, and today I'm doing only about 50 miles with 3,500 feet of gain, so it should be a lot easier. So waiting for the sun to come out, so it's a little bit lighter on the roads, and uh, then I'm going to get at it. So, check in later. Alright, 7 o'clock, ready to get moving. The sun's coming up. Heading down this road and get back on route. All right, so starting the day off with a hill, but I think I have one big hill to gain, and then from there it's flat and downhill. Uh, ran into a guy who seemed pretty concerned for me, and. Thought I was pretty lucky I didn't get bit by a rattlesnake last night, but I need somewhere to sleep. So another concerning thing is the road I'm on, it says dead end, but earlier when I was uh, getting out here too, I took a road that said dead end and it wasn't. So um, I'm following the GPS track right now and it shows that it cuts through. So, But that other guy also told me it dead end, so eesh, we'll see what happens. Might be giving Rob Parker a call. Hopefully not. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going, see what we wind up with. 
Whew, I hope I got the big hill out of the way because I am just knackered after that hill. You can see how much I'm sweating. It's a little cloudy out today. Hopefully it doesn't rain. 50% chance in the afternoon, we'll see. Go faster. Okay. Mile 32, day two. And so I have a total, I think, of around 50 some miles. So I've only got about 18 miles left, which is good, but I am hungry. So I'm gonna eat the last of my food. Um, and uh, I think it's gonna be mostly downhill from here. I hope so. Because again, I'm knackered. So I'm gonna eat some food. And then hopefully I'll have energy to finish strong, head over to Hood River, get a cinnamon roll, and, and just relax for the rest of the day. So, this is the view. It's kind of what it's looked like for all of day two, really. Um, getting out of the canyon from the Deschutes was pretty, um, and then it's just kind of been these rolling hills with tan grass and wheat so I don't know kind of boring just looking at the setup so do a couple things differently this time number one I have my bladder and the frame pack so that's actually really nice because it keeps the weight off my back and I also have the GPS mounted on my handlebars which has been super nice just for making sure I'm staying on course. Mm. Also, I got water bottle cages on my forks, so that allowed me to carry some extra water yesterday. I filled up at the white river area, wildlife area, and um, I was able to carry like four liters out almost, so I don't even need to fill up today, so that was really handy as well. So, uh, yeah, pretty happy. Well, just got top to the top of Gordon Ridge over there, and now I think it's pretty much all downhill. Fingers crossed. Alright, downhill. Let's have fun. <clears throat> well, it is 12.05. Just made it back to the car. So it was about a 49 mile day, not quite 50. But uh, it was really good. Got to go down some big hills. So it was a lot easier than yesterday. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to go head over to Hood River, get myself a cinnamon roll, go home, relax, drink coffee, and eat the cinnamon roll. So, till next time.